Hello, everyone, and welcome to another GSA speedrun match. Today, I am joined by Lori. Hello. And quickly before this race starts, I would like to mention that this race is sponsored by Vi.gg. You can use exclamation point, exclamation point bet in the chat to find out more exclamation point, more information. Sorry, I started. And uh, make sure you are of legal betting age if you're doing that. Yeah. And I think um, we should also mention that this race, I believe, is pre-recorded. Yeah, you can't yeah. actually bet on this race specifically. Uh, we, uh, unfortunately, apparently it was due to some problems in scheduling between these two. So this race is comprised of VODs that have already been recorded being played back for us today. Uh, the good thing about this is that we still don't know what's going to happen, so... Yeah, it's gonna be should. just as exciting as any other. It just means, unfortunately, we won't be able to talk to these two after the race, similarly to how we were unable to get interviews before we started. And speaking of started, that's what we're getting right now. Yeah, so we do not know the outcome of this race. We just make sure that is very clear. It is mm -hmm. pre-recorded, but we do not know the outcome. So hey, it's it's gonna be just as exciting as about any race. Now, something I want to point out, just on the opening alone. I think we saw uh, Sign actually skip the cutscene a bit later, but then load in faster. So I don't yeah. know these two runners, but based on that, I'm thinking that we might see we're seeing a digital 1.2 versus physical 1.1 or 1.0 difference. Uh, I don't think. Ooh, Sign taking a bonk there. Very unfortunate. That's huge yeah. for Gav Kingdom. But uh, yeah, for that first cutscene, I don't think loads differ at all. It, if like if you have a late cutscene skip, you're not going to lose time, and if you have an early cutscene skip, you're not going to lose time. No matter what Mario jump set, 34 seconds in, like put out, oh, fail. Unless the only difference is, is is if you're on your first load of the day, like you're loading up a new file, and it's your first load, and you're on version 1.0, then you're going to get a two second slower load. Okay. Maybe that happens. Because it definitely looked yeah. different to me, but I don't know if I'm just going insane. Science having a quite few minor problems, like with the bonk and struggling yeah. with the frog, so... You really just gotta hope that's something that doesn't persist throughout the race, because that can be a lot of time lost for sign that Source will be able to just, like, fly ahead with if yeah. they can play consistently. And it looks like Source playing it safe going for right side, and Sign going for left side, so it's gonna make up all that time that he lost. I think about yeah. two seconds right here. Yeah, and already back up ahead uh, yeah. of Source, just by getting the quick left side. It was a very nice looking left side, actually. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, so, going to be the first one to defeat Topper, and bring us to the end of Cap Kingdom. Yeah, it's going into Cascade. It was pretty good Cap from both. Yeah, nothing like, too outstanding, but still pretty good times. Yeah, it looks like Sign is going to be getting a 229, maybe 228, and so getting a 230. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> might have forgotten splits or instinctively split. Yeah, that happens quite often. Actually, it does. Big deal. I know splits can kind of psych people out in races like this, uh, especially with in the losers bracket. You're eliminated if you lose, so. Yeah, it's just maybe not wrong. Oh, looks like both runners are probably on 1.2, not choosing to do a FMS. Oh yeah. Okay. So there's my theory from before shattered, but it's always good to know version because version is going to be something that changes basically the whole run from start to finish. Yeah, uh, if you are on version 1.0, you can actually skip this first moon and skip all the cutscenes associated with it. Save about 25 seconds. And then in Sand, you can do a trick called Sphinx Clip, where you can skip top into the Sphinx and just clip right into the room. And then in Launching, you can do a clip called uh, Turnip Clip, where you can skip breaking the cheese with the pin, bro. Yeah. So 1.0 definitely being the more optimal version to play on, but uh, we see both when we're playing on 1.2 here. Yeah. 1.2 usually gives you the benefit of being able to play on the digital version of the game, which you can't do with 1.0. So it is still... Like, you still get some time back over 1.0, just for faster load times. However, I don't think it- I believe it doesn't entirely make up the 1.0 time saves. No, there, there actually are a select few people that actually have digital 1.0, but it's 
by far like one of the most rare versions. It's it's complicated because you can't yeah. simply download 1.0. And yeah. even with a physical copy, the the process to get 1.0 is kind of it's something, all right. Yeah. And both runners having a pretty clean a Madame Brutal fight here. Yep. It's a fight that's actually like a harder than it looks situation. Like, you see them and they're jumping on like the chain chomp perfectly and really good with their hat throws, but like you can try it yourself and you'll struggle a lot with timing. So, it is something yeah. that, again, harder than it looks and it takes a lot to get down. So, it's really great to see that they both just nailed that. Yeah. And we're now, on to the end of Cascade here. Yeah, that trick, uh, or that fight being, like, all audio cues, really. Mm-hmm. So, we got all the moons here from the story section of the game. However, we still need one more to... Oh, jeez, oh. spunking on that tiny pebble. We still need one more moon to actually repair the Odyssey, so... We're gonna go over, just get this quick cliff moon, and then actually be on our way to the Odyssey. Yeah, and I can attest that that pebble is like the most annoying thing in the world if you go for that spin pound. <laughs> it is so easy to bump in that pebble. It may it may be like, you may think it's like hard to do, but it's actually very easy to bump in that. It, it's definitely not a bonk I've seen, but I can believe it. Spin pounds yeah. in general can be kind of mean because they're much shorter than just about any other thing you can do to get to rolling speed. Uh, so... You have to be really, you have to be kind of quicker with them than the roll itself, because they're equally just brutal if you mess something up within them. Bonks are not something you want to see ever. Yeah, and like a top level run, like the world record category or world record level right now, we're not seeing like any bonks at all throughout the entire run if it's done right. Which is kind of a crazy sentence because it's really easy to bonk in this yeah. game. Yeah. So heading into the Sand Kingdom, this kingdom is where runners are put to the test. It's very hard for the beginning of the game. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen, so we'll just have to hope for the best these, for these two. And we, we should be seeing some early bird action here right off the beginning, and we should be seeing the Sphinx clip entire- or the Sphinx skip entirely. They should not be going for Sphinx at all, because that is yeah. the fastest route for 1.2 currently. Yeah, the fastest route from 1.2 will skip both of the Sphinx uh, clip, not both of the Sphinx clip related moons, but it will skip both of the clips if you do double clip, or just the clip if you do single clip. Ooh, You're not going to see the Sphinx at all, basically. Very uh, strange decision here by Sign. It looks like Sign's probably actually going to be doing Sphinx because he chose not to get the bird here. And if you, you can't, if you skip Sphinx, the bird cycle will not be reset, so it'll be, it'll be pretty much forced to get the bird early here. That's interesting. It looks like yeah. Source made the same decision with... Oh. Yeah, that's an interesting decision. Uh, Sphinx can definitely get you coins quicker. Yeah, but if you're in 1.2, there's a little region hit on a metro. And we see it, both runners going for Dram now. Dram being a strat where you do an up throw with Cappy, hold him out, and then home into the bullet right before you collect the moon. And I'll say that uh, both players are also going for the great moon here. So they could be skipping notes entirely, too. Notes being the faster than, uh... Oh my god, Stein rolling right past the moon. That's so unfortunate. Goodness, that is not good. That is really bad, because this moon can be pretty annoying to get back up to. You can see yeah. Simon struggling, just heading over here to get in a better jump on yeah. things. And just like that, Swiss is now in the lead. Yeah, that is definitely yeah. an interesting way to lose the lead, but it's very unfortunate for Sign. Yeah, and it's, it's also unfortunate for him, because Soros also failed Dream Strat. Yeah, so he yeah. could have just had a much bigger lead, but unfortunately got thrown away. Yeah. All right, they're looking pretty even now. Source choosing not to go for the spin pound here. The spin pound being very precise, and it looks like Sign got it perfectly. Yeah, very it's... nice spin pound. And it looks like uh, Source going for the Sphinx is Sign going to also be on Sphinx? Yeah. Yep. Sign is opting to go for Sphinx here. 
They're both up, which is, again, interesting. Interesting move, but I can understand why maybe they'd want to. It might just be, I don't know, just easier for them, I don't know. It may be, yeah. yeah. Uh, music notes are kind of silly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sign having some awkward movement here over to the Sinking Sands moon here. Yeah, that was kind of funny, but still over there. Still not too bad. Sign has really good spin bounce. <laughs> it's, what, what it, it's what I've noticed so far. Like, Sign's spin pounds are getting them places. Right, let's see how we do with this area of the ruins. The bullet bill movement in such a small area can be tricky to master, but both of them yeah. on their way to the Jaxi area. And it's very important since they both uh, opted to go for Sphinx, it's very important that they don't mess anything up here after Sphinx because that could mess up the bird cycle at the end and they could mess the bird entirely. Yeah, and I mean, it looks like they're both doing pretty good, so I'm not too mm. concerned about missing the bird. Still got the cactus, though. I've bonked on the cactus more times than, than I'm willing to admit. Oh, jeez. Why am I speaking? <laughs> Alright, I think it'll still be good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks great. It looks like the bird is still, like, farther behind than it was for uh, Source, so maybe just had a better post. Sphinx movement, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh, missing Ooh. the moon. Yeah, missing the moon there is very unfortunate. <laughs> Better. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, they're both going to be leaving Sand. Source took a bit of a lead there. Uh, did a lot of good movement. It wasn't necessary. I wouldn't say it was overall... There were still a few problems, uh, but Source's movement is just so consistent that Dram was really the only problem I could think of with how scores play. And meanwhile, sign really good movement, but still had a few problems. It's interesting. I feel like in yeah. general, the rest of this race, we're gonna see sign maybe play it riskier and more wild, because that's definitely what I'm gathering from these first couple kingdoms. Is that sign definitely plays more all out in this race scenario, and maybe in general. Again, I'm not someone who watches these two runners often, so. Okay, yeah, both runners are moving on to the Lake Kingdom here. Probably just going to be staying the old route with Rango. I doubt either runner is going to be going for any Lake Cliff shenanigans. Lake Cliff is not very easy, so it's not very yeah. common. But I don't yeah. know, you could still see someone do it. We've seen many runners actually go for it in this tournament. It's actually pretty common at the top level nowadays. Yeah, at the top yeah. level, but it's a very hard strat. And it's yeah. not like the most time save in the world. It still is time save, but... Yeah, it's about seven seconds, I believe. Yeah, so you definitely... Yeah. Alright, we're not seeing Source do it. And I again, don't... with the more consistent movement thing I mentioned earlier, I'm honestly not all too surprised that Source isn't going for it. Sign? Also not going for it. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna see double Rango routes. Mm -hmm. Which, Rango route, honestly, for this kingdom, makes it one of the easier. Yeah, games. yeah. For in For any sure. percent run because there's not too much to it you just got to make sure you're good with your fish movement yeah and you gotta make sure you don't miss a rango at all yeah rango is one that if you don't get in the lock can be hard to get him back in without having to just wait a whole cycle so yeah we'll see how these two do What's the sign missed the fish jump, I think. No, he got it. Okay. I think it took two tries or something. Maybe uh, I'm crazy. Cause it looked, I, it looked yeah. like he didn't jump out of the fish on the first jump. Uh, I, was, I was watching Source. I wasn't paying too much attention to sign. Yeah, and Source yeah. had a good Rango, and so did yeah. sign. Yeah. Get your grand moon, and then we have to wait for this cutscene to leave the kingdom. Yeah, and this cutscene is the whole reason why Lake Cliff exists. 
The late, yeah. clip route, late clip route skips the Rango fight entirely, but skips this very long cutscene. And now both runners are going to be moving on to the Woody Kingdom. Woody Kingdom being a, like a, a nightmare for almost any runner nowadays that has a time below like 110 and opts to go for a uh, nut clip. And even, in my opinion, even if you don't go for a nut clip, the movement itself is very, very tough to get it all right. Woody being, in my opinion, the hardest kingdom. What is very hard, but it's also a lot of fun, in my opinion. One of my favorite kingdoms, not even an early game, just in the whole game. Uh, so... But again, hard. Definitely. Have yeah. to agree with you on that. We'll see how that is. Thor starting off well. These two moons in a combo can definitely mess you up, especially when... When carrying the rock, you can't really use Cappy, so it can cause a little bit of trouble with the bunny, but neither of them had trouble with it, so. Yeah. Flying their first moon. Soar's still at 77, and Ooh. Stein already has 200, so. I'd like to point out that Stein actually went for the first person strat there, but failed it. If yeah. you go the first person before talking to that shop NPC, it actually removes the camera pan if you do it fast, but uh, sign active only if just losing time to it. Yep. And we're gonna jump up here. Looks like uh, Source is gonna opt to go for a nut clip. Looks that like he did like get the clip. It. Yeah, we'll see what he. No, Ooh, actually not. All right. Yeah. No. It, this could be a huge advantage for uh, sign here if he gets this the clip. This could be huge for sign. Uh, Ooh, sign sign getting it. it. Now he has to get this out of bounds and move it fast because he wants to save the maximum amount of time here. Yep. And... Okay, getting the wall jump. And he and should be able to get back in bounds here. Yeah. Oh no, actually! Oh! Ooh, saving it! Oh no, he's oh, going straight! Save it. Oh, he died! Oh, I thought, I thought yeah. he was going to go straight to deep woods there. I, I don't even know what... I've never fallen out of bounds. I can't say I've done that. So I didn't know yeah. Deep Woods or Death was gonna happen. I think Death might have been the more preferred option. Ooh, okay, this is a very interesting backup. Looks like Sign is opting. What is he doing? Oh, okay. He's going up. He's oh, using... oh, no, he okay. Wants... Okay, no. What he's doing right now is he's doing a jump to get up uh, right in front of the wall that yeah. you get the out of bounds moves from. Yeah, and he wants to go. He, he wants to go there and then climb up, back up using this route, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna be climbing up. Oh, I've never seen this jump before. Okay, he's gonna try and get a triple jump off of this in order to make it up the giant wall without using the tanks that you usually have to use because they're not there until you yeah. kill Stewart. Oh, bonking! But his goal is to make it up there so that he can do the second half of the nut clip route. Uh, yeah, which as it, normal. Is it even worth it at this point? I feel like I don't know, but I mean he's up yeah. there, so he might yeah. as well just finish off what he's doing. I think it would have just been smarter for him to, um, maybe, I don't know what else we could have done. Maybe he could have just went from the normal route and opted to get maybe the nut around the corner at some point. I don't know if he, if, I don't know if he opts to do a spirit skip at the end if he does nut clip. I think he might if he already went for, like, if he, if he was that dedicated on getting the second moon and nut clip route, I could definitely see him doing skewer lists. We'll see though. Yeah. That's very, that's very um interesting they decided to back it up the way he did. That lost him a ton of time. No source setting up for a flower road skip. Actually no, it's skipping flower road skip entirely, choosing not to do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Sign just barely making it over that deep woods gap there. It looked like Sign knew what they were doing, but it, it's scary. Ooh, Sign failing the triple jump there. Uh, typically you want to do a triple jump to get on top of this nut and then bust it that way, but he wasn't able to get it. <laughs> and then, there we go. Source going in to the tower. Now I'm curious if, uh, San is going to opt to do FRS right here or not. Probably. 
Sign's crazy. I can tell you that much. Definitely, we've seen Sign do some crazy stuff. So, wouldn't put it past him if he went for it. Yep. Getting the spin pound, getting the triple Ooh. jump. That looks yeah. good. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yeah, See how was... far Cappy went along the side of the platform? That was amazing. Okay, it looks like Source is uh, starting the uh, viewer fight, if I can remember the name of the boss. And we'll have to see if Sign opts to do the spiritless route here at the end. I'm not quite sure how much time it saves, but it has the same advantage as uh, Late Clip route back in Late Kingdom, oh. where you don't have to watch all this cutscene that Source is going to have to watch associated with the multi moon. Yeah, I, see, I believe it saves about five seconds or so. Yeah. All right, sign. No, nope, sign's think... jumping up to Stewart. Okay, very interesting. So he could have had a much cleaner backup since he's opting to use Spirit here. There's definitely a moon she could have gone that was faster than the moon he grabbed, but mm -hmm. too yeah. late now. I think it's just maybe what signs used to. You know. Yeah, it's all just about how fast you can react to everything and what you can think of on the spot if you failed that clip. Oh, absolutely. And that was yeah. just... I, I honestly don't blame Sign if there maybe was a lapse in judgment, because that is just a horrible, horrible death to have happen. Yeah. So, yeah, no, no blame there. It was still... Most of the kingdom was still pretty alright. That's gotta just be a mindset change for Sign, because again, we've been seeing kind of crazy from Sign all race, and maybe they know now, just, I might have to chill a bit, because a lot of bad things tend to be, ha seem to be happening right now. Yeah, and of course, starting up the Bowser fight here, this game isn't too, uh, exciting in Cloud Kingdom. Just a basic Bowser fight, and that's about it. Yeah. Ooh, opting not to do the fast strike right here. Very interesting. Okay, so if uh, Sign does all the fast strikes, he could make up a ton of time on Force here. <laughs> I'm not sure the exact amount of time, but it's definitely. It's a lot. It's definitely going to be a lot, yeah. And it's Sign it. needs a lot right now, so. Very strange. He's opting not to do the fast strike for the first hit, but it looks oh. like he's opting to do the fast strike for the rest of the fight. That's. Um, something, alright? I don't really know what to think about that one. Um, I mean, the first hit is- the first, uh, hat- instant hat capture is very different and a lot more tricky, so I guess I can understand why. That one definitely took me the longest to learn, but even then, I- I, I don't know. Yeah, and sign often to do it. Get it- yeah. Oh, there we go, perfect. Fine. Doing pretty good with the second hit. Let's see how the third hit goes. Source entering lost, so we're immediately going to see what he does in an attempt to skip uh, Klecto. Okay, it looks like he has a return jump, but landing on the yeah. coin platform, very good. Yeah, definitely a nice backup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's kind of the usual thing you the usual metric for what you're doing is you want to try and aim for the purple coin platform if you miss the Kathy return jump if you land it you can usually go for the higher platform and it's a little bit faster but you don't always land it so you gotta just adapt quickly to that yeah now let's see if sign it can have a little bit of a better meme tree here mm -hmm. We'll see. Yep, there's the Kathy return jump landing on the top platform. Very nice. And getting a spin down here. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah, Signs definitely had a lot of problems, but when Signs on a good kingdom, it shows. This is an absolutely beautiful start to Lost. Yeah, this has been a way better performance than Torsa had. He's definitely making a time on him. Absolutely. Alright, Source getting that block explosion just right. 
Yeah, Sign's lost right here. Sign, Sign has just entered beast mode apparently in between the wooded kingdom and now because this is Queen yeah. going for the stone cage. Yeah, I thought for sure he'd be a little bit tilted, but he's just right back into the race. Absolutely. Like... And that's that's a really good oh messing up a little bit there. But that's just a really good ability to have is to yeah. kind of fight possible tilt and still yeah. be able to play at your best because Definitely a lot of bad things happen to sign very early, and I don't want to imagine playing on tilt the whole race. Yeah, it looks like, uh, okay, sign opting at the cage moon here, but not doing cage triple. This is about the same, this takes about the same time as just going for the, uh, the moon in beneath the pillar. I don't know what it's called. It wasn't I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head yeah. either, but we can refer to it as the one that Sports did. <laughs> Yeah, it does make getting going for that cage moon does making does make uh, going for that moon under the bridge a little bit more tricky though for sure. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the most optimal strat for it, for sure. So source headed into night metro. Sign's not too far behind. I can definitely notice some of the saves that Sign has had over source between cloud and lost, but. Source still with a pretty decent lead heading into Night Metro. We'll see how he does on getting to the Town Hall. This jump right here uh, is actually a jump that I've never been able to get down, but making it look easy. Just about everyone does that, actually. Yeah, I want to say it's harder than it looks, but it could just be a me thing. It's not too bad once you get it down. It's just uh, the basic, just uh throw a cap, get the wall, wall jump, and then dive up. Yeah. If you're, once you're at the level of these guys, it's pretty basic stuff. Yeah. It, 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 it's kind of hard for beginners to get down, but once once you learn the actual just technique, you can use it everywhere and it helps a lot. And these two both getting yeah. it down. Yeah, no, I probably personally never got past the beginner stage of things, so that explains a lot. It does definitely get harder once you get into more advanced tricks and stuff like that jump does become more and more trivial, but it's never easy in Odyssey. It's never easy. We'll see how the source does here. And very nice. Always a scary jump, even if you're good at it. It's one of those yeah. jumps where it's like you shouldn't miss it, but if you miss it, you're going to be very upset because it's just incredibly yeah. important to get. Yeah, if you fail that jump, you're losing upwards of like a full minute. For sure. Now, Source moving on to the Mecha Wiggler fight. Ideally, you want to kill this boss in about two cycles. This being the first cycle right here, and then the boss is going to go into the wall one more time after he's done running around here. And that's when you want to make sure you land all your socks on his eyeballs and then knock him down in two cycles. Uh-huh. Uh... It can be absolutely devastating to miss the two cycle. I don't know if I want to go out on a limb and say if Source misses this is three cycle we might see a lead change i don't know if it's that crazy but it's definitely it's definitely going to be close uh if source misses two cycle here yeah we'll have to see okay he missed the first shot there but he backed it up right there that yeah. wrapped over himself Ooh, this, he is, this it. is looking good yeah there yeah. we go okay good backup he missed quite a few shots there but he was able to back it up quite nicely yeah he fortunately got enough hits on the early part of the cycle to the point where I knew, and I think he knew, that he wasn't going to end up missing anything uh, when the Wiggler stopped, so definitely good. But we'll see how Sign does. Sign? Oh, geez, got kind of messed up with the aiming, but really good. Didn't miss yeah. anything. And going to be finishing up the fight. Uh, and looks like, game. yeah, looks like Source is starting game at Chill and Source is signing. Starting off with a capture warp here, like what we like we like to call Metro Jam. Gonna throw your cap there, leave it there, and home into it right, come into the Spark Island right before you capture that moon. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I'm interested to see if Source is going to be going for a scoop clip. It does not look like he's opting to just do the RC car instead. Yep, getting the RC car the normal way. Very there slow, though. Yeah, a little bit slow there. It's hard to control, so it's yeah. definitely something that is slow, not only because you can flip the moon, but also just because it's hard to do. Yeah, there's definitely, that definitely wasn't... Ooh, looks like Sign missed the Metro Gen a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Source moving on to the bench friend. Gotta talk to him, see how his day is going. And then get him I wonder how his day is going. I can't read what he's saying. But, <clears throat> oh, Sign! Had me pranked there. I thought Sign was about to jump onto the scooter. Oh, misses oh. the moon while going backwards. This is rough. There we yeah. go. This moon is always the worst to back up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you, with either option, with Scoot Clip or just doing the RC car, if you fail either, it's super awkward to back up. And unfortunately, we kind of had to see both adapt a little bit. I bet the bench friend might be a little bit pressured with finals week. Yeah, and we see that uh, so it's actually not opting to go for the new, or the not really too new, but the faster early musicians route, where you yeah. choose to do the musicians instead of working to the top of the uh, skyscraper here. It saves a few seconds. Yeah. Ooh, but... looks like Sign's doing it, but he's not saving time with it. Bonked it. I think it only saves about a second. Because you're oh oh time and fling in the wrong way. Yeah, it only really saves time if you're able to do this sequence right here flawlessly up to Pauline. But unfortunately, Sign wasn't able to do that. Yep. Because I believe the major time save of this route is like a loading zone. Yeah, you just you avoid one loading zone. That you time. avoid one loading zone using this route, and it's the loading zone right here. Sign's gonna be going into this room, but uh. They're going to be warping straight out to the Odyssey at the end of the kingdom. Meanwhile, Source is going to be leaving this room to do musicians after both the moons. Which is the time save that Sign will be getting from this route. <laughs> so it's not a lot. And a lot of bonks are starting to negate the time save over Source. Yeah. And Sora's going to be starting the musician to add sign into finishing them. Hi. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so you see now is going to be the warp to the top of the uh, skyscraper. And sign it getting the dive onto the top of this moon. Uh, that dive is blind, so it's very hard to make that, but most runners make it look easy. You can get it down pretty consistently. That's just the thing about this game. A lot of runners can make it look easy. It's not. Like, there are some parts that's going to be hard no matter how you look at it, but the runners of this game that just work on the hardest things and can make it look easy. I, it wasn't something I really think gives this game its power as a speed game. It's just, like, how easy you can make it look, but it's still insanely hard. You can definitely tell how much time of practice was put in for every individual runner. So we see Source yeah. leaving, Sign entering uh, his crowd. And it looks like Source and Sign are both going to be moving on to the Snow Kingdom. Yeah. I'm not... Actually, I didn't check up on the runner's coin count, so hopefully they both have enough coins to divide the moon here. I remember yeah. Sign already had 200, over 200, at the wooden shop. So Sign's oh, yeah. definitely good. Unless... Because I don't remember... Sign... Sign did die once, but... Yeah. It definitely shouldn't have been enough to lose coins to the point where you can't do. And Source is going to snow, so I'm led to believe that Source has enough. Yeah, yeah 108. Right. Yeah. So we're good here. Both runners opted to do uh, things, so 
They definitely had enough points for sure. Mm -hmm. It's always scary. You know, 108, not too many still. But again, it's enough. You don't need too many, you just need enough. Yeah. And I'm interested to see if I'm interested to see if either runners opt to go for a snow jam here. Yeah, we won't really end up knowing until the end of the kingdom. Actually, no, we could tell when they choose to do the shop. If they do the shop early here, then they're oh, yeah. not yeah. not doing snow jam. So we'll have to see here in a little bit for source and then sign. Unless one one of them wants to pull like a wacky route out on us. And it looks like Source opting to not go for a snow jam. We'll have to yeah. wait a little bit here to see what sign decides. The usual snow jam route, you'll see a warp out of the shop to skip the loading zone, leaving the shop. Similar to kind of the time saving the early musicians route, except snow jam actually saves a lot more time than a loading zone. Yeah. It's ridiculously hard though. Yeah, it's a definitely not an easy trick by any means, especially to be consistent. Yeah. I wouldn't be too surprised if we maybe saw Sign go for it, though, because again, Sign's kind of are crazy. Of course, though, we love it, but not going for it. Yeah. Sign definitely knows limits, which I like a lot. We're seeing some crazy stuff be pulled out, but they know that, hey, maybe I shouldn't do this. Uh... Form of restraint is something you actually don't yeah. see a lot mentioned in Odyssey, so I kind of like yeah. what we're seeing from Sign with the combination of more safer and some really yeah. risky things. And Source getting that triple jump cycle there, that room is entirely cycle based. If you want to get that fast triple jump, you gotta make sure to make the stair cycle there when it goes low and go to start blowing. Mm -hmm. Oh, getting all of them off. So yeah, we're seeing Sign about to enter as Source is about to leave. Yeah. So. Sign about a whole room behind here. Yep. Oh, Ooh. messing up on the triple jump. It was on the cycle, but I think just messed up the execution of the triple jump. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Getting the Goombas. Getting all the Goombas before even activating the Icicle. Interesting, but sometimes it's what it comes down to. Let's see what Sora's opts to do here for movement. Looks like, he, like he's not opting to go for the super fast triple jump here, just long coming over the void here and mm -hmm. grabbing the moon. The safer option. Yeah, for sure. And seems to be keeping on that room behind theme here. Sign. See what happens. Yeah. Oh, that looks that was scary. Really yeah. playing close with that. Yeah. And a source starting the Rango room here. This is the room that uh, you can skip if you opt to go for Snowdram. This gym is very slow, and that's why the snow gym uh, ends up being faster. Yeah, you have to go all the way over here, and then warp out to the Odyssey, because this is the 10th moon, so we can leave. And, uh... Oh yeah, with the use of your money, the last use of your money in this kingdom, uh, I sh we should take the time to talk about Vi, our sponsor for this tournament. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have betting going on for this race, but for every other race in every Vi sponsored tournament, you can do exclamation point bet. Uh, and as long as you are of legal age, of legal betting age, you can bet for your matches. So. Definitely. Yeah. Thankful that they decided to sponsor us for, I believe, this tournament, Mario 64, and Super Metroid, I think is the ones. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
great. And speaking of money stuff, uh, there's a lot of money in Seaside. We already did both of our shopping trips, so you're not gonna see the money get put to use, but like, there's there's a lot in here. Yeah, this is a- if you don't have enough coins to buy a moon in snow, this is a kingdom kind of we opt to go to first after Metro. Because there's a section in this kingdom where you can get like 40 coins. Mm -hmm. But we don't need those, we just need the 10 moons. Uh, something I'm pretty interested to see is the fourth moon of this kingdom. Uh, because there is a strat we could see the racers yeah. go for. Not yeah. sure if we're gonna see it. Definitely with the amount of restraint I've seen between the two, I'm not expecting it to- Ooh. Source mess- or, yeah, source messing up yes. that. Oh, source Ooh, messing, messing up again. I wonder yeah. what's going on. It looks like that he could totally just do something like that, but opting for a wall jump strat? Yeah, you really don't need that wall jump strat. Dude, going for that wall jump is just slower, and you already have the height to grab the moon, so it's very- weird that he opts to go for that. Like, there's no need for that. He's just losing time by going for that. Yeah, I, I don't really understand yeah. that play, but it's definitely some good time save yeah. for Slyon. Which, uh... We'll see if uh, Sign capitalizes on this. Okay, we're good. Yeah, got a nice backup there. He missed the mid on the first go round, but he managed to back it up quite nicely. Yeah, with the last dive. Yeah, not really losing any time there. And Source has our cheap cheap now. As soon as you get this cheap cheap at around like Ooh. the halfway point. Oh, yes. Ooh, look yeah, it looks like Sign opted to go for a rocket fire refresh. Source did not opt to go for that. Mm -hmm. In the point of. Ooh, actually, no. Oh, no, but messing up. Yeah, messing up the ground, the refresh before the moon there. And the yeah. point of uh, rocket fire refresh is actually to skip capturing the discussion here. You can just use the rocket fire to run across the water instead of capturing the discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't quite see what was happening, but I believe we might have seen a bonk on the side of the moon platform that caused the mess up. No, he did, he just missed the ground pound on the platform. He ground pounded before it. Oh, okay. It's de it was definitely king. He was moving really fast at a rocket flower. Yeah, he just messed up the timing for it. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Always interesting to see that one gone for, though. Yeah, it's not a very big time save. I'm only saving around a second or so. And it looks like Source is now leaving Seaside and moving on to the Lunching Kingdom. Now I'm interested to see if Source is going to opt to go for a trick at the beginning of the Lunching Kingdom called Salt Triple, where you can do a triple jump off the salt pile right at the start and just make up the second salt pile a bit quicker. But with the safe strats that Source has been going for, I'm kind of doubtful that he's going to go for it. It's interesting, because I keep saying stuff like I'm expecting Sign to go crazier than Source. But again, and I, I, I really don't want to use this word again in such quick succession, but I really can't think of much better word. The restraint we've seen from both of these runners is actually kind of strange in what they're doing and not doing. Yeah, so, like I said, Taurus opting to not go for Soul Triple, and then just yeah. do a backflip here. Not a bad strat, just a little bit slower. Saving yeah. video. Maybe he wants to archive that for later? I have no idea. Definitely, I think there's a reason. We'll see what Cyan opts to do here, though, once he lands from the Odyssey. If he opts to go for Salt Triple or not. Mm -hmm. uh, source entering Rango, or not Rango, this is the word. Basically, like the same as the previous fight. So, not yeah. much interesting. We're seeing Sign Salt up. Triple. Ooh. Up. Yeah, failing it. Very unfortunate. Having to take a little bit of time loss and just go for their, this backup shot instead. There are ways to back it up and still do the salt troll, but it's definitely not easy to do. Yahoo! 
Man, it looks like Sign is going to be stirring up the spirit fight right as Source is finishing it. So it's just gonna jump back here quickly. An interesting sub area because we get the secret moon for it, but not like the actual moon in it. We just kind of immediately leave. Yeah, because the actual moon, uh, the main moon in there being very slow. Yeah, it requires moon shards, which are something we like never want to do. Yeah, I, th I think the only time we do it is in Bowser's, right? I believe. Yeah, Bowser's because it's required to do. Yeah. Uh, basically, after Cascade, you... And, except for Lake, actually. In Lake, you follow it. But after Cascade, we've never seen, like, completion of a Kingdom Peace route. But in Bowser's, we're gonna be required to do Kingdom Peace, as well as the extra moons that we need. So, yeah. it makes it one of the more interesting kingdoms compared to some of these mid... kind of mid-game kingdoms you're seeing, because... It kind of forces you to do stuff that isn't necessarily the fastest, but at the same time, it means you're seeing some kind of stuff that you usually tend to avoid throughout the run. Yeah. And a source of going for this uh, salt pile island moon here. Actually using the camera unit to place the Hodobo there in the correct location where he wants it to be, so yep. he can for sure make the cycle. Very nice. Getting that moon, and then heading over to Forks. Yeah. Um, that's that's always a funny story. I like... Um, Ooh, op okay, opting to go for the slow Forks route, patching an extra Fork already off the start. Yep. Still moving pretty quickly throughout the rest of it, though. That was very that's, well done. That's very interesting. So he got the extra fort capture at the start, but often to skip the one at the end. That's very interesting to me. That last fort capture is very hard to skip, and it's very easy to skip the first fort capture. So that's very interesting. It's, yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't really have a better way to put that. That's just a way to do things. Ooh, failing this fast potable movement here. So, uh, so yeah. Almost a, Ooh, the, yeah, no, this is not good. He doesn't have good alignment. Well, there you go, there you go. There we go. Oh, no! Oh, no! So, or sign make up a ton of time here. Now, this could yeah. be a huge sign lead change. Makeup is crazy. Alright, oh. not quite a lead change, but we're yeah. doing good. Yeah, sign definitely could. Oh my god, that was very close to missing that photo book after. If he's able to get this first try, which he is, yeah. Yeah. He's locking up a ton of time, maybe like 45 seconds or even. Yeah, this yeah. is as much of a race as ever now. Yeah. This and like I said, it's been in a while. Like I said earlier, both runners unfortunately have to deal with T's R&D here because they're not on original point of the game. So they cannot yeah. do turn up flip. And a sign getting awful T's R&D there. And just having to yeah, sit that was forever. funny. Funny in a scary way. Ooh, oh my god, almost taking a little bit of lava damage there. I'm interested to see what Source is going to go for after this moon for the hill moon here, or whatever you want to call it, the mountain moon. Okay, option to go for the triple jump here. Yeah. It's usually what you see. Yeah, I wasn't sure with him though with how many safe strats he's been doing. But... I mean, I think this is one of those strats that's like not hard enough and it's big enough to where even if you see a really safe runner like Source, you're still gonna see it. Yeah. Because really, I don't think it's the jump itself that all that's all that scary, but the fact that if you fall on the other side, you can't really save yourself. There is there is actually a way to get actually fall into the lava there and then use the kick you get from the fire to run up the mountain and save yourself but it's very, not easy to do at all <laughs> yeah no it's not all right yeah no both of these finishing up luncheon roughly around the same time 
Uh, I'm trying to look at the time difference. I have like, oh. I think that's five seconds apart, which is a uh, much smaller amount of time than we and saw the I, difference entering the kingdom. And I think Source just lost most of that because he had a very slow cutscene skip there. He lost a couple seconds just skipping a cutscene. Uh huh. And just like that, you can see how close this race is now. It's anyone's game now. Absolutely. We have an auto scroller coming up though, so. Yeah. The Ruin came in boss fight. Not much can go wrong there, but we can't completely roll it out as we saw the world record holder actually equine dying in this kingdom three times just because he wanted to show off and completely <laughs> losing the race because of it. So we can't yeah. completely roll it out. That's like the meme of this tournament now that anything can happen with Ruin. Yeah, but... boy, equine. <laughs> equine. Yeah. Ugh. Just completely throwing away his race here in this tournament. Yukon's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. But yeah, it's usually not a problem. Yeah, if you, as long as you just don't show off like he did, it's, this game really isn't too much of a hassle at all. That's definitely yeah. gotta be a humbling experience, yeah. though. Yeah, he definitely got what he deserved for what he did, for sure. But, uh, these two have proven themselves humble enough, really. Like, these are two yeah. races I'm not expecting to see a death with. It is always scary because you can see, uh, you know, with the damage boosting that you want to do before each hit. If you're not careful, you can get more damage than you want. Yeah, and that's another way you can die in this game, if you're just not watching your health. You can definitely die here because if we do opt to do damage boosting just to speed up this fight even just a little bit. But both of them, yeah, are doing what they need to do with their health. I see Captain Toad there for Sign. Ooh. Uh, Sign taking an extra hit there. Hopefully he's aware that he needs to uh, get one more heart out after this cycle. Of yeah. the dragon. Did make sure to grab another heart, so is at two after the damage boost. Dude, both are synced actually, I believe. I guess Source had a yeah, little bit of. Yeah, that was pretty good look at him there. Yeah, I guess Source had a little bit of toggle on that second phase of the dragon there. But uh, they're both at three now, so shouldn't see a problem. Oh, weird khaki throw there for Sign. Yeah. And just yeah. like that, this both is runners, crazy close. Yeah, both runners maybe like two seconds apart at most, I would say. Going into boss is probably being the scariest kingdom at this point in the run. Uh, yeah. There's so many places to lose so much time in Bowser's. You really just gotta focus up at this point and just see what you can do. Play to the best of your potential. Play to your, your best. A reminder in this intense moment to drink water. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> I just heard some background sound and I don't even know what happened. Oh, if it was for me, I was moving my mic. It could have been that. Oh, yeah. Don't hide your water behind your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, we're gonna be heading to Bowser's, though. Yeah, this is anyone's race. Anything can happen. Even something as small as maybe missing a cat throw on a charge can change the lead. If you uh -huh. don't know what you're doing. Like, it's that close at this point. A Kathy text box ahead. Sourced. And sign entering. The, I've said entering the kingdom like three times now. Yeah, like I said, this is a very, very intense race now. They're Anything really can. It. Yeah, it, it's very rare that we see runners oh. this close. Ooh. Sign taking a bomb. Not what he wants to see, but he can definitely make up for it if he plays good. Uh, Source opting to capture a Pokio there instead of doing the strat that Sign's doing and just going for a spin pound. And just like that, Sign, I'm pretty sure, is all the way caught up again on those. Yeah, basically negated yeah. that bomb immediately after yeah. having it happen. Just with a better strat. Ooh, oh, no, missing the ogre. 
Yeah, I'm missing the Trouble Jump. Can you still get this? Okay, still got the Brown Pound. So not yeah, so not losing too much time. Definitely a good backup. Now it looks like uh, Sign is maybe 5 or 10 seconds behind. Just small, Like I said, small things adding up four. very fast. Yeah, that's like a 4 yeah. right there. So that might have cost... The stuff that happened might have cost yeah. around 3 seconds in total. Yeah, like I said, small stuff adding up very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So we're flying over to the shards. Sign now flying over. We'll see how these go. Source of opting to play it a little bit safe, not going for the dive back strat there, and just going for a long jump into a ground pound. And same, ooh, looks like Sign actually going for the dive back, but failing it the first time, but getting it the second time around. Mm -hmm. Source lag on us a little bit here, but all good now. And Sign grabbing that oh. third. What? Oh. Messed that up a bit. Source, or Sign also messing up the shard he's on. Cannot manage to get the shard ring. Life with him. There we oh. go. Struggling with it a lot. And oh my almost goodness. dying. This is scary. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. afraid. <laughs> and just like that, the race is a little bit more split now. Like I said, all these mistakes adding up very, very quickly. Oh, jeez. My heart's beating really quickly right now. And Source trying to play a little bit safe here, doing the safest shot, the oldest movement, I believe, for this uh, moon grab. Not Understandable. Doing, yeah, not doing any capture work or anything, just playing it safe. And I believe, yeah, Sign's gonna be doing this movement. Ooh, bonk. taking a bonk. Getting the spin jump. Alright, there you go. Alright, we have Source, part of Harry at first. I don't know your views on this, but... Yeah, I actually prefer Harry at first. I do too. Yeah. At least we can be in peace with each other. And yeah, with we... both the racers. Sign also going to be jumping over to Harriet. You're always going to make people mad with this decision, but... Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of... Ooh, actually, Sign actually missing that bomb. Not very good here. Making it work the second time, though. Yeah. This has been just so far. Sign's been going more intense with strats, but Source has been landing them more. Yeah. Source playing uh, this race a lot more safe. No. Oh no. All right, yeah, this no. Part of... yeah. He knows where to stand, though, to recover. Yeah. Like I said, Source playing this race a lot more safe and, uh, but nailing all the safe strats, which... Ooh, just like I said that, he's messing up Topper. Yeah, Topper is a... a, a, a stream unsafe word. Yeah, if you mess him up, it's very hard to back him up. Unless you know where his hat's gonna go. There's actually... Ooh, actually, Sign messing up Topper as well. Sign's gonna die. Well, if he's not safe, yeah, he definitely will die if he's not safe. First thing I noticed. Yeah, he only has one need to be here. Is good though. Yeah. Very nice. I was not afraid, you were afraid. And I think both runners opted to go for the crate moon here. I'm I was I'm not too sure. I'm At this sure. point I don't really know what else you can opt for. Yeah, I, I don't think they went for the Pokeo Moon or any other They, other they didn't moon. go for the Pokeo Moon. Yeah. Uh we see source at four and sign both at four. Yeah, I don't really think you can opt for anything else other than the crate moon at this point. Yeah, Source playing it very safe here as per usual for him. Laying the camera pan, freaking every single crate before going in there just to ensure that he doesn't die. I wonder, I'm starting to think here. Um, cause Ooh. it is a close race. But with all of the small things that Sign has had happen to him, I'm wondering if we're still going to need something major to turn this race around for Sign. We'll have to see if Sign got that. Because definitely Sign does have a lot of small time saves that they can pull out. Oh no! Sign We're going to need that... something major for yeah. Sign to catch up at this point because yeah. that... Alright, cool. 
sign missing the jump over the void there because the camera just does not want to cooperate with you there at all. The camera uh, just slowly pans, and Phoenix is going to make that jump completely blind. Yeah, it's kind of like um, the jump back at the end of the town hall where you jump yeah. around some camera stuff and the game does some really weird things to try and like both stay on Mario and kind of do the normal yeah. camera maneuvers and it's very awkward. Source having a good start to his mech fight though. If he falls off mech here, this definitely could change the lead for sure. Mm -hmm. Staying on top though. We'll have to see. I'm curious what he goes, who he's going to choose to go for here. I'm going to assume he's going to go for a Harriet uh, or Spirit Third and play it safe. He's going to play it extra safe, not even going for Spirit on the first go around. They're waiting for the mech to spin around before going for him. And let's see what Sign can pull out here for his mech fight. Already having a quicker start than Source here at the start. Uh, so it's Source often... just needs to jump on Harriet. Yeah. There we go. And then Sign having a nice start here. Let's see what he can pull out for the rest of the mech. Yeah, already at the the rainbow legs we got here. Yeah, you cannot hit any of the riddles during this phase. The mech is completely invincible. Mm -hmm. Sign also opting to go for Spirit third, but uh, doing it a little bit faster. And they're going to be killing Harriet Forte already. I'm soon to land back on the map. Ooh, I'm struggling with this ground pound a little bit, though. Struggling a lot with it, actually. Finally getting it. And Source getting that final 124 into the Odyssey. Going to be leaving for Moon Kingdom soon. Yeah. And this race is by no means over. Uh, Source if Source opts to go for 2D skip, and uh, Moon could definitely lose a lot of time there if he fails that. Or if, even if he just messes up the Bowser fight at all, he could definitely lose a lot of time there as well. Alright, and sign also with the final moon count. Okay, we'll see if Source can keep up this lead for the entire uh, for the rest of Moon here and pull out the W. Yeah. Those are some nice vectors. Ooh, diving right onto the moon snake there though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Source, definitely, definitely some interesting things happening for Source, despite, like, his more laid-back style of gameplay. But still, still definitely, just because we've been pointing out kind of what Sign does with their movement, I do want to make the mention and say that Source is definitely... Source has definitely been pulling out some great movement throughout the entirety of the race. Yeah. Wouldn't matter if you're consistent with your movement if you weren't, if it wasn't good consistency. And Source definitely shows that. Oh, geez, the camera. Yeah. Uh, er, Sign almost dying to that first vector there, but he managed to back it up quite nicely. Yep. Now let's see if Sign can get Moon Cave Skip first try, just like Source did here. Always a funky jump. Ooh, mid Get off his face. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Source getting the first hit on Bowser here. And then he's Fine. gonna go. Really good. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna have to wait out. Uh, Source is not gonna have to wait out fire, uh, Bowser's fire spinning phase here. Nothing you can really do to speed this up at all. Mm hmm. 
and uh, Sign entering the fight. About a cycle behind Source. This is Source's race to lose, really. Yeah, for sure. Kind of amazing. We had to wait until the Bowser fight at Moon Kingdom to know whose race it was to lose. But yeah, jeez. Oh, but like, really, the lead entering the Bowser fight is all you need to know um, when it comes to the end of the race because deaths aren't the most common thing in the world on the end portion of the run, but they can happen. And they're definitely a very uh, bad one. They have been very crucial not to make that happen. All right, source is good as long as he doesn't mess up with the shields. Yeah. And all right, time for the escape. Yeah, as long as source doesn't mess up the escape at all here, he should have this race won. I'm curious if he's gonna opt to go for 2D skip or not, or just play it safe like he's been doing all race. We'll have to see. Um, again, Source's level of restraint has been pretty high, but we've seen some pretty interesting stuff still come from him, so we'll have to see, you know, just how it goes. We just know that whatever Source yeah. goes for, he's probably going to be good at it. Yeah, and the sign's starting up the escape sequence right now. Mm -hmm. If Source dies here, it's... I don't know. Ooh, oh! No! Oh no! Oh no! That is really yeah. bad for Source. Sign, taking the lead in the escape. It's still not over there. If Sign messes up 2D skip <laughs> here... Sign dies. You really want to play this game? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just saying, if he does, we could see another lead change in the escape sequence. It just saying, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This that's that's really unfortunate. It's, re it's really close to the point that even just a bad pillar room. Uh, Absolutely. You decide Time to win. is good yeah. though. And I'm pretty, I hope Source doesn't opt to go for 2D skip again here. I yeah. hope Source just plays it safe. But we'll have to see what he does. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna just say 10626 leaving the 2D area for sign so it's just gonna be like 15 to 20 ahead Ooh, that don't for x interesting, don't for xd skip if you guys don't know what that is you can do that movement right there and actually say it's about 0.1 i believe that's it well so, even with the point one oh, yeah. still 18 <laughs> seconds behind so i'm not sure what source can really do with this point uh sign i don't think sign got early color right there unfortunately so you can have to go back around and get that if source if Source gets early pillar here, this could definitely be huge for him. Uh-huh. Ooh, those, those are some fireballs. I don't hate them. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna work. That's gonna be an early pillar. That's a huge lead on uh, Sani as there. And the Sani's just messing up pillars everywhere. Struggling with that. Oh my god. I think... Who is in the lead now? This is so close. I don't know if Source's yeah. pillar is down. Ooh, okay. This is an incredibly close ending here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't but think looks... Source's pillar, I think it's still a long yeah. way. That's gonna hit it, though. That's, yeah. that's good. And it looks like Sign is gonna be taking the W here with a time of 107.46. That is not the outcome I expected entering escape, but GG's to Sign. Source is gonna be coming in only like 15, 14 seconds behind, 108. 108 Very flat. good time still. Very unfortunate yep. what happened. Source losing. Yeah. Very consistent gameplay throughout, yeah. but just one mistake in that consistency, and it gives time the race. Yeah. And... Uh, like we said earlier, this race is pre-recorded, so uh, we will not be having a post-game call from any either of the runners. Mm -hmm. But before this, we... it's kind of unfortunate because yeah. I really want to know what these yeah. two think of this race. Yeah, but before we leave, I would like to thank our sponsor one last time, Vi.gg. Use exclamation point bet in the chat 
to see more information and make sure you're you are of legal betting age in wherever you live before doing any bets yeah please do that um yeah. thank you james for coming out to commentate me with this uh commentate yeah. this with me it was a really interesting race and... yeah very close race as well yeah uh and last thing I guess I could say is in the next round, we're going to be Sign going up against... I'm going to say this wrong, probably. Uh, Sign is going to be going up against Swiss Zay. And, uh, okay. and we have a uh, Super Metroid race up next, I believe, from what Ari is saying in the Discord chat. And uh, yeah, that's about it from us. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Yeah. See ya.